Well, we got we got on our heels uh, early. Um, gave up, you know. I'd say obviously those two goals, and then uh, and then and then it's a chance that just no reason to give up. We can't keep giving up free opportunities like that. It's uh, uh, nonsensical. Um, that put us on our heels. I thought then we played to not give up chances. When you do that, you're tentative, and we weren't quick enough on pucks. So I thought we spent most of the first and second uh, not being the, the, the quickest of the puck. They, they beat us. Their second guy beat our second guy to too many pucks, so we didn't spend any time in their zone, and then you're in your, you're in your own end too much. So um, we've got to be way better than that. You kind of alluded to it this morning, Jeff. Is, is that just basically is that a systematic thing or effort or where, well, where, where direction does it go? I wouldn't say it's systematic. I think we got some uh, some guys in the back end that have to play better. With the, the I mean, you generated offense the other night, not much tonight. And again, Vanek's or Helms line was the only one that kind of maybe had some of the chances. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they seem like, uh, you know, Helm, I think, for two games in a row has been, been on it for sure. Um, I thought uh, uh, Nyquist was, 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 was pretty good overall. Vanek had moments of good, um, you know, but we obviously need more than that. We need uh, top to bottom, need to be better. But some of that, again, is, um, you know, I think it starts uh, uh, it starts with, with getting out of your zone. So that, that puts onus on us as a team to make sure we do a better job getting out of our zone so you're not just getting it in, changing. You, you've got to be fresh when you're playing in the Ozone. When you did get in the Ozone, too much one and dones. is that a result of not winning enough battles, or races to the loose puck and, and, and battles? Yeah, I thought we were second in all those pucks. Uh, you know, again, their second guy beat our second guy almost all night, especially in the, in the, in the first and second particular, to be honest with you. Um, so we can't have that. And, you know, I think part of it is when you play a long time in your end, you get tired of playing defense, and it's hard to have enough juice for offense. So we've got to be quicker out of our end for sure. We can't spend so much time in our end. Not much going on the power play tonight either, uh, even shot-wise, uh, when you had the man advantage. Yeah, you know, for sure, we, we got to get more power plays, though. We need more opportunities on the power play in order to, to get some rhythm going. You, you know, we had one the other night. What do we have two tonight? So we got we need more rhythm on that for sure. Um, so that's it needs to be better. Peter was great tonight. I thought, as I said yesterday, I thought he played uh, his – his. He, well, I know when Peter's on, he was on on, on – uh, Thursday as well, so I think that's two nights that he's been on that we've kind of wasted a performance a little bit. But you know, I think our focus is uh, testing ourselves against teams, measuring ourselves, and getting to work and getting better. So we're gonna have to get better Monday morning and be ready to play Monday night. We talked about the back end needing to be better. Is it structurally? Uh too many turnovers, just not moving the puck uh, well, well we've enough. Let, we've let way too many guys in behind us for no reason. So we've given up opportunities, uh, breakaways, outnumbered rushes for for no reason. Um, so we got to be way smarter about being able to be on the attack and but yet not give up opportunities. Um, you know, we're a team that I think has always been pretty good about uh, having our D down the walls, uh, keeping pucks in, keeping pucks alive in the ozone, so you have more ozone time. But mm, we've let so many guys behind us that all of a sudden I thought our deep played tentative in, on, on the ozone blue line and then our gaps were loose and then we were in our end too much. So um, either between letting, letting guys in behind us or just as a group uh, making some mental mistakes, we've got to be better. How important is it just to, I know it's only two games, but just to nip this thing in the bud? I mean, obviously, a quick start's always so important. You, know, you guys have always traditionally been a quick starting team. Yeah, you, 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 you want to win. Um, I mean, I, you know, we said it up. I mean, we felt like, you know, game one's a playoff game. That's how it is in this league. Every night's uh, like a playoff game. So um, you got to win games, and uh, you gotta, you got to focus on process for sure, but you got to win games. And so we've got to find a way to win on Monday night. We've got to have a singular focus to win Monday night. Yeah, well, what's it like when you know that you're, team has high expectations every year but this year it seems like the expectations are a little bit tempered with some of the losses and the changes that you've made the expectations within our locker room are high so uh, we don't worry about external expectations our expectations are extremely high um, right now we haven't lived up to those expectations in two games but the good thing is we get to go to work on monday morning and, and get ready for monday night you've had two looks now um, at different defense pairings which ones looking back over these two games have you liked better well, none of them enough, but I think I think Jonathan Erickson has been very good in two games. I think Xavier Lett's been very good in two games. Um, I think you know Mike Green for large portions has been good. So, but as a group, we got to be better.